So, if you're as excited as I was when I first got my hands on the Avora to fly manual mode with the DJI FPV controller and test the range with the goggles V2. Now, whether you already have the FPV controller too or have placed an additional order along with the Avara, you might or might not experience some linking issues with the FPV controller and the goggles V2 when trying to link them to the Avara. I had some issues connecting the FPV controller to the Avara at first and I spent about I would say an hour to fix it. It was pretty straightforward though, the only thing I had to do was to power on the version 2 goggles which came with the DJI FPV combo, connect my phone and the controller, open the DJI Fly app and update the controller. Now if you get any of the Avara combos and the controller on the side, you might have some issues linking this to the Avara if it doesn't come with the latest firmware. So in today's video, I'm going to run you through the linking process of the FPV controller and the version 2 goggles, just in case you experience some linking issues when you first get your hands on the Avara. Now the combo that I have here is the ProView combo, so that's the one we're going to start with. The linking process will be the same for either combos though, the only difference is the placement of the linking buttons on the goggles. Now, when you first prepare everything for the first time, it's also important that you have all the batteries connected to the goggle, the Avara, the motion or FPV controller charged to 100%. This is to prevent any breakups related to updates and the linking of the different devices. After connecting the batteries, we also need to connect our phone to the goggles to be able to update to the latest firmware. To do that, we're going to use the included USB-C to USB-A adapter, which comes with the combos. And now that everything is connected and powered on, the motion controller will automatically connect to the Avada and the goggles. But if it doesn't link after a few seconds, you can tap hold on the power button on the motion controller until you hear a beep and you see the lights flashing in sequence. This means the motion controller is now in linking mode. And the Avara itself will automatically enter linking mode when powered on. And you will see a blinking light on the top of the drone. But if the linking mode is not activated automatically, you can force the linking mode by tap holding on the power button on the battery until you hear a beep from the drone. And you will see the LED lights on the battery blinking in sequence. Now straight out of the box, the goggles 2 should also be pre-linked to the Avara. But just like the other devices, if it's not, you can activate the linking mode by pushing the button inside the goggles. Now, the majority of the people getting the Avara wants or eventually wants to fly in manual mode, which will require the DJI FPV controller too. If you already have the DJI FPV controller too, you will need to update this before it will work with the Avara and the goggles. This can be easily done by connecting the controller to the DJI FPV drone and the version 2 goggles. Then connect your phone to the version 2 goggles and open the DJI Fly app. And here you should get a new firmware update notification of the firmware 02000200. But if you only have the FPV controller and not the FPV drone or the goggles version 2, you can update to the latest firmware by connecting it to a computer. So the first thing you need to do to connect it and to update it through a computer is to go over to DJI.com and then over to support. Then select the download on the right side and go down to software on the left side. In the software section, you go to Assistant 2 Series and then click on the Assistant 2 DJI FPV Series and select the download for Mac or PC. Now, once your download is complete and trying to launch the installer right away, you might receive a notification that says you can't install this software. So to fix that, you go over to your downloads folder and locate the file, right click on it and then select open. Then follow the installation guide and you should be ready to launch the Assistant 2 application in a few seconds. Once the installation is complete, if you're not finding it in the app section, you select go then apps and you should be able to locate the DJI Assistant 2. And once inside the application, you need to connect the DJI FPV controller to the computer and turn it on. Now, once the controller is successfully connected, we can click on the FPV controller and here we can see the latest and previous firmware. Since I already have the latest firmware, my only option is to downgrade. But if your controller doesn't have the latest firmware, you will be able to see update or upgrade where mine says refresh. After updating the controller, we can link this to the Avara. So powering on the goggles, the Avara and the FPV controller, the controller should now automatically connect to the drone within a few seconds. 
but if it doesn't, you can press hold on the power button on the controller and the drone for about 4 seconds until they enter a linking mode. So to link the version 2 goggles to the Avara, you will need to activate the linking mode on the goggles, the controller and the drone. So the first step is to connect our phone to the goggles and power on the goggles, the motion or FPV controller and the Avara itself. Once everything is powered on, we need to activate the linking mode on the version 2 goggles. And to do that, we have a tiny hole next to the power connection. Here you can use the included Allen key that came with your FPV controller or any small object that will fit. Press down and hold for about 4 seconds and when you let go you will hear a beeping sound which tells you that the goggles are now in linking mode. Now the next step is to tap on the connection guide on your phone and then select the Avara. Once the Avara is selected, you need to tap hold on the battery on the Avara itself for about 4 seconds until you hear a beep sound and see the LEDs flashing in a sequence. This means the linking mode is activated and after a few seconds, the Avara should be paired with the controller and the goggles. On your phone, you will now have two options, the motion controller or the FPV controller. Here I'll select the FPV controller, then select bind device, which will bind the version 2 goggles to the Avara. And to make sure that everything is now linked together, we can restart all devices and see if we have a successful connection when powering on. And we have now successfully linked all devices. Now if you have both the goggles and want to change them around, the only thing you have to do now is to activate the linking mode on the goggles you want to use with the Avara, as well as the linking mode on the Avara itself. And after activating the linking mode on these devices, they should be linked in a few seconds. But if they don't, you also might have to connect your phone to rebind the goggles that you want to use to the drone. So there you have the linking of the DJI Avara and how you connect the FPV controller and the version 2 goggles. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That would be really appreciated. So I think that's going to be everything for today, guys. So until next time, take care and I will see you soon.